Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I want to talk about a procedure I got last year that has changed my life completely uh, and that's MiraDry. If you don't know what MiraDry is, MiraDry is a procedure you can have to stop excessive underarm sweating or reduce the sweating in your armpits to such an extent that it doesn't really bother you in everyday life anymore. For me, pretty much since my early teens, I would just sweat like crazy um, in social situations when I was anxious and it got really bad. Uh, I would never wear a shirt like this because uh, it would just be soaked after a while, even if I would just like sit at a desk and just work, just, you know, being really focused. That also causes me to tense up a bit. Um, you know, after like an hour or so, this shirt would just be completely soaked here. Um, wearing a hoodie, same thing. Wearing a t-shirt in summer, awful. Um, and I was just living with that for a really, really long time because I didn't really know what to do. I tried all the deodorants. I tried these like patches that you can stick to the inside of your clothes. Nothing was working. And then about a year and a half ago, I learned about MiraDry. Um, and I thought I would give it a shot. MiraDry offers a permanent solution to this issue. At least that's what is claimed um, with just one or maybe two treatments. Uh, you should have your sweating issue under control. I had one treatment in January of last year and I wanted to give it at least a full year to kind of really see what the effect would be and to then decide if I need a second treatment and to give you guys like my overall assessment of whether this is a treatment that um, might work. Let me just quickly walk you through how the procedure works and how I experienced it and what kind of the side effects were afterwards before I talk about what the results were. MiraDry essentially works by using microwave energy to heat up the tissue in your armpits um, and destroy the sweat glands that are located there. And it doesn't destroy all of them. I think in every, every time you have it, it destroys like 50% of the sweat glands that are there. And when I had like my initial intake, um, my dermatologist rubbed like iodine under my armpits and then uh, powdered a bit of starch on top and then it would discolor where the sweat glands are and <laughs> apparently it was like my entire armpit was just black and she said this was one of the worst cases she's seen so far and I was like great thanks mom and dad um, but that of course explained why my uh, sweating was so bad she recommended that I should take that I should do Mira Dry. Uh, I pretty much signed up right away. Uh, it cost 1500 euros. And then two weeks later, I had the procedure. It was actually pretty quick. It took maybe about an hour. They first put a lot of anesthetics in my armpits so that I wouldn't feel it and that the skin wouldn't get damaged too much. And then they used the actual Mira Dry device to pretty much like in lanes go through your armpit. And um, yeah, it kind of sucks onto your skin and then heats it up with the microwave energy for like 20 seconds or so, then cools it. Um, and then that's what they do to your entire armpit and then to the other one. The whole thing took maybe like an hour. Afterwards, I just was given some uh, like ice packs to put underneath. Uh, they rubbed it with a bit of antibiotic cream. And then I just went home um, and that's when the pain started. Uh, I pretty much did not feel the entire procedure, but then afterwards, um, you know, like sort of the initial paracetamol that I took before the procedure kind of was wearing off and then I was just taking a lot of ibuprofen uh, for maybe two days or so. It was painful and my armpits were just starting to swell and to bruise. That's normal and expected. That lasted for like a week maybe. And then by the two week mark, um, everything was kind of back to normal. That's also when I was able to go to the gym again. It actually was recommended to, you know, stretch your arms to just um, prevent all the kind of tissue that got scarred a bit uh, in the procedure from forming knots. I guess that helped uh, because I haven't noticed any long-term changes in um, my skin. And that's when the magic started <laughs> after two weeks. Um, when it wasn't so painful anymore and I could touch it and I could actually feel that there was nothing. There was no sweat at all. My armpits were just completely dry. I was amazed. I just didn't, I, I mean, I was told that this would happen initially, that there's nothing. And then after a while, after a couple of weeks, um, some uh, perspiration would come back. 
but that those couple of weeks were amazing. I could just like wear t-shirts and uh, not give a fuck about it. I could just, I would just not sweat. It was amazing. Then after a couple of weeks, some sweat did come back, but to like a much lower extent than before. And it's a difference like night and day. It's crazy. Nowadays I can just wear shirts like this and just not sweat through them. I actually went to a job interview this morning, which is very stressful. And you can see there is absolutely nothing, nothing. It's, it's amazing. There was the only one time that I can recall in like the past year where I was just so stressed that I did sweat again and it was um, it was visible but that was only one time and usually this would happen like once a week at least and now this happened like once in the past year or at least past half a year I guess so it was really amazing um, even in situations that make me quite anxious um, or when there's like social gatherings and whatnot nope it's um, no sweating, no embarrassing pit stains. It's amazing. And this was with just one treatment. I really don't feel like at this point I need a second treatment. I can, I am, this video is not sponsored or anything, but I just, I just want to share that there is a solution for this terrible problem that you can really do nothing about because it's just your genetics. Um, but in my case, one treatment of one hour and it was gone. Like the side effects that I had afterwards, you know, like the pain, the bruising, the swelling, um, that just, you know, it's, for me, it was totally worth it. Mirror Dry is apparently even more effective against um, like those glands in your armpits that produce smell, like odor, like BO. And my husband he's pretty sensitive to it he can he would always be able to tell when i just had like a little bit of bo and he said like i just don't smell anymore like at all and another added bonus is um i don't grow quite as much hair in my armpits as i used to i just used to trim every couple of months um, because it would get too long but now there's only these really tiny fluffy hairs and maybe like a couple of longer hairs but um it's also pretty much gone so if you don't mind that then uh, I would say this is a pretty good uh, option to consider if you struggle with excessive underarm sweating so all in all this might not really seem like a very nuanced video but there's truly nothing bad I can say about this and I think the um, you know the side effects that I had the bruising whatnot it was absolutely worth it in the long term um, and to think that I was struggling with this issue for like 20, not, okay, not 25 years, but like when I, when did I, when did I start to sweat really? When I was 13. So I did it when I was 25, right? 26, I guess. So 13 years, 13 years. And I could just get rid of it within an hour. I would just say that if you are in a similar situation where you sweat a lot, go talk to a dermatologist who is experienced with Mira Dry and just uh, get their opinion on it. The nice thing is you do this once and then it's gone, at least for the vast majority of people. Maybe you have to do it another time, but um, it's not like Botox where you have to repeat this every half year and I don't really like needles that much mm -hmm. and it just adds up over the years. So yeah. It's just good. It's just really good. It's just really efficient and I'm super happy I did it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions about Mira Dry, just uh, leave them down in the comments below. Obviously I'm not a medical doctor so there's probably not uh, some questions I just can't answer or won't answer for like legal reasons. But uh, if you want to know anything about my Mira Dry experience, um, feel free to ask uh, and I would, uh, yeah, love to hear if some of you had the same issue and if you also decided for mirror dry or if you uh, went the botox route or if you did something else entirely that would actually be um, pretty interesting to hear also because i want this topic to not be stigmatized so much because you know it's just your genes it's just your genes some bodies just work this way others don't but if you to struggle with this there's a way out so again thank you guys for watching and see you in another video very soon